Okay, so this video is just my UK cat tips and advice. Um, uh, if you've already subscribed to my channel, you'll have noticed that I already did a video on UK cat tips and advice. Um, I'm just doing it again because this one's better quality. To start off with, my number one tip is that you need to get a hold of two books. Now, these two books are the Kaplan book and the UK cat ISC medical book. Now, the Kaplan book called Score Higher on the UK cat and it's an orange book which basically summarises the £300 UK cat course that um, some people go on. But obviously, if you haven't got 300 quid like spare, then it's cheaper to get the book which basically summarises the whole course. And also with, with the Kaplan book as well, it, I found it was the closest book to the actual exam, like the math section was uh, really similar to the actual uh, maths questions you get in the UK CAT exam. So definitely recommend that. The second book, which is the ISC Medical 600 Questions book. The questions in the ISC Medical book are a lot harder than the actual exam, which is why I recommend it, because if you get a, if you get used to some of these harder questions, then you're, you're going to find the UK CAT a bit easier. Plus, the UK CAT also throws in like one or two hard questions in every section. And, and basically they're similar um, in difficulty to the ISC medical book. So, you know, if you want to smash the UK cat, I recommend you get both of the books. Now, tip number two is try and buy uh, the Medify online course. The Medify online course is just basically online practice questions in the style of the actual UK CAT exam because you do it on a computer. So it doesn't cost that much. You can buy one week trial, two week, three or four weeks trials because it gets you used to actually doing the exam on a computer with the buttons, the mouse, the calculator, everything. It gets you used to the actual exam on the computer. And also the questions are really similar to the actual UK CAT exam. So definitely get Medify. That was probably the biggest help that I got when I was doing my UK cat. Third tip is give yourself three to four weeks to prepare. Now, if you give yourself more than four weeks, you're going to hit your peak early. And a, two, a, two of my friends that did prepare for, they spent about two months preparing, like they hit their peak early and they did do as well as they expected. Um, but if you, you know, spend too little time preparing as well, you're probably not going to do as well because you need to practice for the UK cat. It's such a hard exam, like you need to practice. Spend your first two weeks um, in trying to improve yourself um, and understanding how the questions work, trying to answer the questions and spend your last two weeks focusing on the timing. So time yourself when you do each question or each section. Um, it's probably easier to time yourself when you do a section instead of just one question. Fourth tip is you need to make a list for abstract reasoning. Now, this section was quite hard when I first started it. And basically what I did was every time I saw a pattern in an abstract reasoning question, I'd write that down on a paper. So if it was the lines of symmetry, if I was looking for the lines of symmetry in a question, I'd write lines of symmetry. If I was looking for the number of sides on a ship, then I'd write number of sides on a ship. And that way, every time I, I, I was doing a question, I'd look at the list again and that list would be in my head, so I'd just tick it off in my head. Um, and in the ex actual exam, I noticed that checklist was basically imprinted in my head and I was just ticking them off as I went along. And because of that, I got 900, like I pretty much smashed it. Now I'm joking, I'm not, I'm actually not bragging, but yeah, it actually helps a lot. So make sure you make a checklist of all the patterns that you see in after reasoning. My fifth tip is that the UK cat is probably the hardest exam that I've ever done just because you can't really revise for it. You can only practice it if it makes sense, but it's a weird exam. Like you can't tell if you're making progress or not. So what you need to do is frequently take some breaks in your revision, go for a walk, speak to your friends, listen to music, have some food, whatever. But every few sections or questions, give yourself a short break and get your mind off the exam. Now, finally, this is probably the most important thing about the UK cat. You need to learn how to control your nerves. Now the UK CAT isn't like your normal GCSE or A-level exams where you're used to getting 90% of the questions right or all of the questions right. This exam, you're going to get a lot of questions wrong and if you let that get to you, it's going to affect you so badly. Like if, if say you get the first or second question wrong, then just move on, go on to the next one and re-attempt the, the first question at the end of, if you have time and don't let it get you down. Like don't think, oh, 
I've got that wrong. I'm going to get this wrong. Start off clean again. And also, so going with the mentality that you're not going to get a lot of questions right, you're probably going to get a lot wrong. So it doesn't really matter if you do get it wrong. Just move on to the next. Obviously, give it your best shot. One of my friends who did the UK cat, he wasn't able to control his nerves. And he got about 5.95 for the, the exam. He gets pretty nervous. So yeah, um, that's all my tips for now. And thanks for watching.